Hey everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny here. It's been a while, and I hope you guys are doing well during this pandemic and all that. And Dio, so let's just fire up the server and then we can talk. All right, and uh, still gotta do this. Uh -huh. Yes. I think this should, do. are you kidding me? There we are. And I paste this in. There it is, it's deploying the server. Okay, so let's get started. The service I'm reviewing today is the Cloud Pages service. And if it's not obvious, they're competing <laughs> directly with Cloudways. I mean, Super obvious, right? Same kind of logo, same kind of layout. I mean, even this little like graphical, like sketchy architect, you know, they all have that same look, even has like the same wide font. Um, it just, I mean, it just looks very similar and it's obvious who they're, they're competing against. And if you're competing against Cloudways, that means you're also competing against RunCloud, Gridpane, uh, what's the other one? SpinUp WP, I mean, there's a million, there's a million, there's a dozen of these uh, manage, manage cloud hosting platforms or software as a service um, services out there and when they say managed i think what they really mean is automated because it's not managed it's not like there's a human being there there's just it's just automated and how the software works is it allows you to very easily uh, deploy a server so you you build a server it throws the software onto the server and what that software gives you is a nice uh, graphical user interface to do um, server stuff. So typically without these, you'd be jumping around in, in Linux like I did, right? Mucking around in the command line and typing stuff and seeing text fly across the screen like the matrix, which is not fun, it's not sexy. What we want is like a pretty screen where we can click on stuff. So that's what these managed control panels do. Okay, and then it's like, what's the difference, right? Because there's dozens of them now. They all kind of more or less do the same thing. They're more or less in the same the price, in the same price range. And they're more or less kind of samey. They all kind of feel the samey. So what's the difference really uh, between these? Oh, okay. I know this character right here. Heard of him. Uh, him I heard of. Definitely have seen him around. Um, the difference is basically their pricing model and the features. And the pricing model is usually very similar. Some of them are like way more expensive than others, um, but it's really the feature set and then the user interface. I think that's the two big things. And what are the features? The features are things like, um, you know, if you click, you fire up a website, you do another click, you fire up a staging site, you click again, there's an SSL certificate. Uh, if you click again, you can see like, I don't know, um, different things, different ways to manage your site that a, a developer or a WordPress site manager or just a regular user would do. A uh, little task and things that are important for developing, building, managing websites. Let's get rid of these. I don't need this no more. Okay, so let's see. We have the server fired up um, and let's just take it for a spin, right? So let's create the first website. And uh, test, and I already threw up the, okay, web application owner. Um, all right, how about Johnny? We're going to leave this alone. And this should be defaulted to 7.4 because 8.0 is not, not every, not everybody is on 8.4. Can only contain alphabets and numbers. Wait, what's going on here? What do, what do I have to why do I have to choose something? All right, fine. Very strange. Very strange. Oh, I see. So, I, I mean, right there, like, they should have just used the domain name as the path. I, I don't understand why uh, that had to be chosen, but oh well. So, um, when you're comparing these things, you know, we, we care about the features. We, we care about the interface. We care about performance as well. But nowadays, with the managed control panels um, out there, they're all more or less similar speed. Like, yes, some are faster than others, but the disparity is like maybe 10% at most. Um, it's not something you can actually feel. Um, well, 
actually, no, okay. Of the best ones, <laughs> there's no performance difference. But there are panels out there that I think are slow. Their stack is slow. Just their setup is slow. Things feel slow. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you, uh, I like how snappy this platform is. Just to click around, um, it feels very, very snappy. So I'm loving that, right? Uh, if you guys use, um, yeah, wow, everything loads like super fast. I love this. I'm totally enjoying it. If you guys do uh, use Cloudways and click around in Cloudways, it takes a few seconds to click around just to go from one screen to the next. Very annoying. Drives me crazy. Wow, this is very responsive. So already off the bat, I like it. The design, easy to use. Very, very easy to use. So their design, um, it's a very full featured design and kind of reminds me of RunCloud. Now, just that it's a little bit bigger. It looks, it's kind of like a pop-up book. It feels cute. So their design, to me, looks like something between DigitalOcean and RunCloud. Okay, so if you like DigitalOcean, you like RunCloud, I think you will like their user interface. Oh, and this is their uh, their URL, by the way, in case in case you didn't see the URL. It's cloudpages.cloud, okay, not .com. So you don't want to be looking for it in the wrong place. All right, so this site creation is taking a while because it has to generate the SSL and all that. That's cool. They automate it. Um, there are other services out there that don't, like you actually have to click. I mean, it's just one click, but still, it'd be nice if you didn't have to. And I'm just clicking around because I'm bored and I'm waiting. So let's just see. Okay, yeah, so this is very Cloudways-ish, very run cloud ish And list databases. Oh, I see the database isn't even created yet. Okay, so that SSL generation takes forever. Once that thing is up, I'm just gonna click around the site, see how fast it is, and we're done. And of course, it'll be fast because the site is lean. I haven't actually tested a very heavy site on there. Right now, you can only create services, uh, servers with DigitalOcean. The other's not coming yet. Um, this right here, yeah, it feel, feels very much like, like a run cloud right here. Um, lifetime deals. Oh, okay, okay, so if you bought the AppSumo, okay, well, th there you go, guys. <laughs> if you wanna save money, you, you go buy this and they have lifetime deals. Crazy, really? Like, how much is this one? $600? That's a bargain. That's that's a no brainer. I think uh, I think a lot of people should buy that. So, are we still waiting here? Are we like? Is this still forever? Okay, so let's let's go. The people want to know how how fast is it? All right. Well, that's no good. What do I gotta do? Or, or did I? Yeah, what the heck is going on here? Oh, okay, first I deploy the app. Now I have to deploy the site. Okay, something. Nice, they have different, nice, they have different stacks out there so you're not starting from scratch. Um, here you go. This is my spam email and password. Uh, yeah, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Cool. What? I can only come to, okay, fine. There you go. Here we are. I think this one should be relatively fast. And we're waiting. It uses Ubuntu um, 20. That's the Linux version, and I like that. All right, getting bored here. So I think what sets Cloud Pages apart from the others so far, like just off this quick, like 10 minute video, uh, one is they're using Lightspeed server, which is not as common. You know, that's not common. A lot of the managed control panels out there all default to Nginx. I love light, light speed servers because you can use the Lightspeed WordPress cache plugin, which is my favorite cache plugin for WordPress. So if you've been reading my site, you've been watching my videos and uh, watching me talk shit on Facebook groups, you know I'm a big fan of Lightspeed. 
So I've been using them for 10 years and I, and I love it. They do an incredible job, high performance, and a beautiful cash plugin that comes along with it. It makes it really easy to performance optimize your site. And I, I don't know, I just like the vibe, you know? Just like the vibe. Okay. So they use light speed. That's the first thing. The second thing is that their interface is very fast. It's really, really fast to click around through here. Um, and I love that. I'm sick of control panels that take like two, three seconds to get from screen to screen. And I don't know, it, it just feels laggy. I love this team feature right here where you can just add different team members and then they can manage the areas that you allow them to manage. So this could be other admins, business partners, other contractors that you hire to do the stuff that you can't do. Uh, could also be uh, your clients. You know, you're giving them access to manage their site, right? And you're giving them access to only the things that they should be touching and not the stuff that, you know, allows them to break sites and stuff because that's not fun. Is this thing up yet? All right. So clearly, uh, creating websites with cloud pages takes some time. It's not as one click as other panels I've seen. Other panels I've seen, uh, you click and five seconds in and you're done. So this is something they can work on. Uh, if it comes up in another five minutes, like it, it wouldn't bother me, right? I just click this and then I go use a bathroom. I do my dishes. I take my clothes out of the laundry. Uh, other things to look at. I mean, what else is there, right? What else is there to, to do? So I'm just going to end this video here. I didn't even get to the test. This is it. Uh, I assume it works because they have clients. They have passionate fans and users. I'm just going to assume that it works. This is not a beta service. They are launched. But so far, I just wanted to show you guys the back end and how things look and, and how things are managed. And from there, um, that you guys get to see you guys get to see a little bit of how it works and right. I love the file manager feature. This is sexy. That's awesome. Um, I guess it, I guess it'll work when the site fires up whenever the hell that is. Rewrite rules. I guess this is like your HT axis. Yeah, this is basically like your HT axis. Okay. And I know, uh, I know the person that built this panel, uh, I think was heavily involved in cyber panel. So he's got a lot of experience, real world experience building control panels. It's not his first time uh, doing it. So, uh, and I am a huge fan of the WordPress manager. It makes it very easy for you to install plugins, install themes, manage. And unfortunately, I can't show you that today because this is taking forever. I end the video here. If you wanna see what the WordPress manager looks like, and it's definitely worth a look. Um, it's a really simple interface here. Uh, you know, there's no demo, but I've used it on cPanel. They've clearly copied the idea from cPanel. So you can go and from your pan your control panel, you can like install and manage themes, plugins. You can turn things off, turn things on, all from the panels, okay? And then update everything at once. So that way you can manage like a ton of WordPress sites all from the panel. You don't actually have to click through and log into the back end. And in a way, and in a way, it's like, um, what do you call those, those, those things? Manage WP, that service, right? So you're using like all in one place, you can manage your servers and then you can manage your WordPress sites. And that's really cool. That's not something, actually, I haven't seen that in almost any other panel. Maybe the only other panel that would have that is like Plesk and cPanel. And all the other panels, um, they might have something similar to that, but not quite to that degree. Can't show you that today, too bad but actually it is really cool. So uh, is it worth a try? I think you guys should try the service. The prices are reasonable. The service is good. I'm actually surprised at how fast it is to move around. Um, but yeah, creating a, a WordPress site, as you can see, was not so smooth. I'll do a write up on this later, uh, but overall, I, I, think I, I think I would like it. And we'll stop this video here. Hey guys, WP Johnny back here. Uh, so. The site finally fired up and it's here and I like it. So you click here and there it is. So it works. Um, I'm not gonna go and log in right now because I wanna save time, but I wanted to give you guys a chance just to see 
how the uh, the WordPress manager works, and I really love it. So from here, you know, you just click things on and off. You can go to file manager. You can do all that. See, and there you go, and you can manage your stuff. I believe. Can we edit code here? Yep, we can. It's really cool. There's a code editor. There is also my favorite part, the plugins thing. So we can like disable things, re-enable things, right? So if you ever need to just disable because your site's not working, you can disable, enable, delete. And create a new staging site right away. Um, but overall, very easy to use. And that'll be enough for now. I'll see you guys next time.